people, welcome back to the Green Gold Farm Initiative channel uh, where we focus on sustainable organic farming. My name is Dennis Aine and of course I'm a civil engineer by profession but of course by passion I'm a farmer, avocado farmer and at the moment I'm in the middle of my farm, avocado farm. Yes and in today's video I want to share with you two things, two tips uh, that I've learned from, of course, I've been touring so many farmers who are doing the same uh, in avocado farming and other crops. So two things that I learned. Now, number one, do not do the pruning. Do not do pruning during dry season. It's very dangerous. If you are to do it, do it when it is well controlled and probably maybe by the expert. Because I want to show you this tree here. I hope you can see it, okay? It's a bit hot and the sun is too much, so you'll allow me to put my cape. So, there is this tree here. I'll try to zoom it so that you see what I'm talking about. So, one of the things you should avoid during dry season, don't prune. Or if you are to do it, do it when it is controlled. And then there is another tree here. Are you seeing? I'm actually in the middle of that too. Hmm? No, no. I hope you can see. Okay. So, this tree, as you can see, we've tried to avoid pruning it during uh, uh, during this dry season. It has been dry, and of course, uh, dry season comes with its consequences. So avoid pruning, that's number one, if it is a dry season. And of course, um, it's always recommended to prune after harvesting, but if you can wait and do it when, the, when, when it is uh, maybe a wet season, or if you are to do it also in a dry season, do it when, it is, uh, when the humid is a bit high. Like uh, for example, when it, is, uh, when it is evening time, when it has cooled down, yes, actually evening time, so that the tree that you pruned will not get that much impact, okay? And uh, of course, you know, when you prune, like in the evening, the whole night, the temperatures are just down, the humidity is high. So this tree, it will not be affected that much. But now, if it is a dry season and like it's on a sunny day and you, for example, you chop off this branch or whatever on this tree, there is what they call uh, transpiration, of course. So that rate at which the vapor will escape from this tree, it will be extremely high compared to when it has cooled down. And so the effect you'll find that the trees, some branches are, somehow the impact is well felt on the tree. You can even see it. So this tree, we pruned it because it was all over. So we wanted to reduce its vegetative cover and the branches. So we did it, but as you can see, now the impact is real, okay? The impact here is real. Look at the number of fruits. The way they are distributed in a tree. Because here you see one, you see one here, you see one here, you see one here, you see, and I'm going to explain why it is like this. You see here too, like they are just distributed here. And probably if I'm to count properly, eh? The number of fruits in this tree, this tree, okay? You discover that they are very few, very few. They are so few. Eh? Because I am sure this could be maybe maximum 150 fruits on this tree. Okay? There are not so many. 150. Can you imagine? This tree has been here for four years. For 150, that's a very big disappointment. The performance is so, so down for this tree. Okay? So it is really not advisable to do the pruning 
during such kind of time it is very dangerous you can see up the leaves because you see once you shock it by pruning it during a dry season on a sunny day now this is what happens you will see that even the fruits that are there they are not looking good you see they are a bit yellowish the leaves are a bit yellowish in in general the tree is malnourished i don't know maybe that's it, it is not eating well you can see from the way it is appearing here okay and so that is number one to avoid now if you come to its neighbor here eh, which of course for it was not you can see the difference actually from here i think now if you come to this one look at this one first of all the fruits are all green and they are a bit packed then though not so much because it has been dry but at least you can see here you can see they are a bit like six here they are also like uh, these are like four these are like three the performance on this tree is much better compared to this other one so i hope my fellow farmer there is something you've picked here so with this tree here its vegetative cover all over it is there as you can see eh? its leaves these leaves are good because they help to they they help these fruits from the effect of direct sun sunlight so that's why you see them they are very green and now if you're talking with exporters they prefer fruits from this kind of tree because it's the one that that looks uh, very uh, fine like it looks so good in the eyes and so <coughs> that aside we we also look at another factor which I want to tell you my dear farmers I know some of you especially when it rains um, there is always a bit of vegetative cover underneath here here it is always too much and what do we do in most cases the farmers have interacted with even me myself I've done those two things you either come and slash or some people because they want to do it very fast and also to uh, for, for purposes of not to come back very fast instead of slashing they spray there are chemicals that are so much right now on the market there are so much they are selling them it's many weed master what what all those chemicals that are used just to kill this vegetative cover someone doesn't want to to slash and what they do they just spray that and guess what the moment you spray like this this is how the ground turns hmm? the ground becomes completely and completely plain like this and so what does this mean it means the rate of uh, evaporation within this ground it will be so high so the rate at which this ground once you've applied the other chemical because for it it kills every vegetation the, this weed all it is dead it dies up and everything dries up and so the ground is just plain uh, it is so prone to direct like the rate at which it loses uh, it loses uh, water all moisture in the ground is so high it's so high unlike if you come and do a bit of slashing there is a lot of at least there you've left some uh, a bit of uh, weed all vegetation that will at least uh, help in reducing the evaporation or the rate at which water will be lost in the in the ground in the soil and remember our trees here all these trees they want to have water so unless they have water in the ground okay 
unless they have water in the ground then you may see very few fruits probably as you can see from this but more like the way you can see on this tree okay so it is very very important and this one i will really advise everyone how every farmer out there if you're going to if you have weeds for example in your farm okay please don't spray them don't kill them because first and foremost that chemical that you're using that is killing everything and leaving the plain ground the dry ground you're not only losing water in the ground moisture you've lost moisture but you also you've also killed the living organ organisms living organisms in the ground that help in the process of in the like that complement these trees because even some plants here i need to tell you that they are even good for that tree maybe they fix nitrogen they complement each other as this tree is thriving the other one is performing some certain performance and to su supporting this so it is not advisable my dear farmer that you chop this vegetation there are some people actually who plow who do the plowing and they cultivate eh? they clear all the ground they kill everything no this one should be like a carpet eh? you know how a football pitch looks like the vegetative cover should be there to cover this ground and protect it from direct moisture uh, waste like losing moisture direct due to evaporation okay so it is very important that as you're here at your farm you do the slashing don't plow don't clear this uh, weed because you need it what is very important for you is to maintain it at a certain level don't allow it to grow because now also when it grows and reaches uh, some certain level eh? some certain level now like this one here someone needs to come and slash it you see this this one we need to come and slash it has to be at a certain level very down okay like how you slash your compound so it should be down but let that vegetation cover be there and also maybe what i can add on you can clear this this basin here where the tree sits this diameter you can do uh, now like for us at this moment we do because of the the tree we can do like a radius of one meter from the tree to around so that one should be clear actually here uh, we are supposed even to remove all this okay this all supposed to be cleared okay all and then we manage you don't throw it away once you've weeded uh, you've done weeding you just put it there to dry from there actually this place going forward we are supposed for us here we are a bit not looking good but uh, for your farm what you can do always manage this place because also you don't want direct loss of water within such area should be kept moist the ground should be or the soil should be kept moist for this tree to have something to drink okay and supplement itself uh, after maybe taking other nutrients in the ground because uh, water is a very biggest component on these trees well in today's video i think that's all that i had for you two things to avoid during uh, dry season one is pruning all if you are to do pruning do it in the evening time so that at that time the temperatures have cooled down and uh, the humidity is high so there you can prune your trees secondly is that 
you should not spray this vegetative cover in your orchard. What you can do is to, is to, you get a slasher or you get something and you clear this vegetative cover. You leave it at a certain level. You don't allow it also to grow high. You should keep it low so that it helps us to protect. And another importance of it, of the vegetative cover, leaving it there. When it rains, for example, that vegetative cover is going to protect the ground from soil erosion. So it has so many important, we've looked at uh, complementing this tree. Some of them may be their nitrogen fixers. Others are, they perform different things that support each other. That's why you see some trees, I mean some plants grow when they are different and they are able all to grow well. So it's very important. So thank you so much. And please, um, always, uh, maybe if it is your first time, you can subscribe. We have a lot much for you. And uh, yes, we are the farm and we are going to share with you a lot, a lot of videos. And um, yeah, also like the video. You can like the video. You can uh, comment, put there your comment and whatever you want us to improve. Because the whole process is learning we can always learn from each other you know, you put your comment i promise i would always respond then you can also share with other colleagues so thank you so much and have a great time thank you